Well, how do you do, failers? All right, today I want to uh, show you guys a quick uh, overlook on the Baku deer trailer. Uh, I, when I bought my Baku e-bike, I bought it from letsebike.com, and I did that short little uh, YouTube video on the bike. And the owner Sean from Let'sEbike.com contacted me asking if they were allowed to use that YouTube video for their website. And I said, sure, um, you can go ahead and use that for your website if that helps you out. And he said, well, I highly appreciate that. And he goes, would you be interested in a trailer? I said, well, sure. I need a trailer for my bicycle. He said, well, I'm going to send you a trailer free of charge because you're going to let us use your YouTube video for our website. I said, oh my goodness, you know, what do you say about that? I was like freaking happy as hang. A week later, it shows up. I literally got it yesterday. Um, it was raining off and on, slapped it together. But I wanted to go over this. This thing is awesome. Um, first of all, it's a backyard deer trailer. It is rated for 100, 150 to 200 pounds max. Now I'm not sure if that's just the weight limit of the trailer or it's also pulling it with the bike. Um, I got no fine print there on, on exactly what the limit actually is. I'm thinking it's the trailer, 200 pounds max for the trailer and probably for the bike also. So everything is quick disconnect. And so it connects to the axle of the bike. Um, I got my hunting stuff in here. So I'm, I'm gonna get a close up here in a little bit, but there's a connector um, goes to your axle and then there's a, a spring loaded. So the, it'll go back and forth. Um, the bottom of it is a mesh steel which is um, <laughs> which is awesome it made me happy because I was thinking how I'm gonna modify an open trailer to hold certain gear and certain like bags of uh, uh, trophy rock and stuff when I go pick it up um, so anyway I'm gonna go over this with you uh, it has three different settings on the tilt Everything is quick disconnect. So you can either lay it flat. You have it in the middle setting or the top setting, which would be right there. Transport mode, when I'm gonna be going to my hunting spots, I'm gonna have it just like that. Um, I put some reflective tape and stuff on it because I got clobbered too many times on a bicycle. Uh, I want to make sure people see it when I'm going to my hunting spots in the morning and coming home at night. Um, the best part about this trailer is there's quick disconnects everywhere. So if you want to transport this thing, pop the wheel right off. There's a button inside here. Um, so we're going to quick disconnect it from the bicycle. Now the best part about this whole entire thing, there's a kickstand for the trailer. So when I pop this off, that thing stands alone by itself. So I'll roll it up here a little bit. Um, so if you fold, bring, these, bring this back. And I'm just going to put one in here. Of course my neighbor's dogs are barking as always. So they send you along uh, as axle extensions, which this is freaking cool. So you got two of them here, it's a push button. Same as the main axle on the trailer. So if you disconnect that, Pop on the extension and pop on the extension there. I'm not going to put one in just so you guys can see 
on um, on how wide it actually made it. That's about a six inch extension. I guess if you'd be hauling something like a big deer or something and you got parts of the deer on the side and you need a little bit more wheel space so it doesn't rub on the tires. And if you're in off camber areas where the trailer is going to be tilted, it's going to make it a lot more stable. So when you do get something on here, you can actually take the tongue off of here, quick disconnect. Pop that off. Now you have just a deer cart that you can go in the woods and retrieve your game. Um, this is awesome. You guys can get a little photo there on a six inch wheel spacer or the axle extension. That's incredible. Um, So I'm going to bring you guys closer here and you can see on what's going on. Bear with me here. So right there's the wheel extension, the six inch wheel extension and there's without it. You guys can see that. Got a mesh bottom tiltable back with a handle like I said I put reflectors on it so people don't um, hit me when it's dark out I do have a blinker on my bike um, and then right there is let me get focused here right there is um, the hitch basically for the bicycle it gets bolted onto the axle um, the tongue here is there's a spring in there so it'll flex back and forth we're gonna bring you back to a tripod so I am very thankful of let's ebike.com uh, Sean the owner for sending this to me um, I am beyond ecstatic about it uh, it's currently about 12 o'clock noon and I'm gonna get ready and we're gonna see if we can put this bad boy to use tonight uh, I got a number of does and a number of bucks coming on a certain property and uh, man wouldn't it be cool to put this thing to use as soon as you get it um, all right fellas well um, after speaking to Sean and the rest of his employees that work for him they are the most nicest employees ever. If you have any kind of questions or any concerns about a bicycle, uh, anything bicycle accessories for e-bikes, they will answer it and um, they will, yeah, get back to you like right away on the phone and in emails even. Um, I found by doing all my shopping, let's ebike.com. I saved a ton of money compared to anywhere else. So if you're in the market for an e-bike, uh, I highly suggest you check them out. Um, I will put a, a link in the description of this video because I am that pleased. And if I'm pleased with a product, with the bike itself, I got almost 300 miles on my Baku mule and it's no problems at all. She's ticking away and pulling hard. So, all right, fellas, if you like this content, please hit the like button. If you don't like it, hit the thumbs down button. Either way, interact with me and let me know what you think. Um, if you're not a fellow subscriber, please subscribe. And until next time, yee yee.